Hey everybody, it's Taz. Welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today we're gonna to talk about a style that has been sitting back here in the audience for quite a while. I have gotten lots of questions on this style. You won't wanna miss it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Coming up. So the spotlight today is on Belle Tresses Cafe Chic in the color Butter Beer Blonde. So Cafe Chic is a short, straight pressed, blunt cut bob style. I purchased this style with my own funds. You can find it at Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below where there'll be a link to this particular style. You can explore more details and pricing. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com or from any product page on the website. Scroll down, hit the help button to be connected with a live chat feature. Now you can find some variances um, among applications of the same color among the different styles. You can see some slight variances, so always be aware of that. Um, on this particular color, I think the rooting is very vari variable. So this is like a light sandy brown with an ash platinum, heavy ash platinum highlight. It's a very cool ash toned light blonde shade. And supposedly it's supposed to be on a light ash brown root. Now in this case, I think it's absolutely true. The application of this color is really spot on. So there's a light ash brown root. It blends in and transitions beautifully into the main body of the color. This avoids any stark lines or demarcations on the rooting, it looks supremely natural. Now I have seen applications of this color where it's a deeper brown um, with a little bit of a cast of magenta to it in certain cases. So just be aware of that. The other thing you wanna be aware of with Beltress is that I have seen some variability among the, the texture and the cut of each style. So most Beltress styles, and they're very famous for this and they do it like nobody else, and that is this rough cut texture that they have. It's most evident in their curly styles, but can happen on the straight styles as well. You'll see a little bit of variability um, in how it was cut and texturized. So if you ever get a Beltra style that you get one hair that's extremely longer or shorter than another, just go ahead and lop it off. But there's just nothing that beats this fiber. This is the Beltress Heat Friendly Fiber, which is on all of the styles in the cafe collection. And the heat friendly fiber, the way it is treated, it just feels the most luxurious fiber ever. Um, it's soft, it's baby fine and silky, it's whisper light. But let's talk about these dimensions though really quick. So this style features about an eight inch front piece here, and that's gonna stretch well below my chin. And then in the back, you're probably gonna see an overall length of around 10 inches. There's a bit of a nine inch layer here on the sides. I think that gives it just the illusion of an ever so slight graduation. I think that gives it nice, a swingy appeal. And that the sexiness of having the hair just gather around the face and convene just under the chin. So this isn't your traditional bob where it's round and full. This is straight pressed and it has a very light density, very modern looking ends. They're kind of notch cut and tapered down a little bit. This wig weighs less than four ounces and features a lace front and a left monofilament side part. So let's take a look at this lace front. This particular one is done very well. The knots are very fine. They bring the highlight right up to the lace front, which always softens the root. The seams are well obscured. And then you've got that monofilament part that runs nearly back to the crown. This is right out of the box. I did not do anything to it. It's been sitting on a mannequin head for probably a couple of months, um, but nothing has been done. I don't think you need to do anything to the style. Um, it comes with a little bit of a natural contour. I cannot say whether yours will have that contour or not. What I'm noticing though is among the newer styles that are coming out 
by Beltrust. They have a permanent contour lift right there at the front. Now this one isn't too severe, but back here you'll see a brand new style by Beltrust called uh, Dalgona, I think Dalgona, 16 inch. And you notice a very heavy contour right at the front. So I am noticing that. And I think that really saves us the trouble of trying to you know, use the heat from our hand and having to do that all the time because of course that's not a permanent measure to keep the lift in or using steam or anything else. Now, because this is heat friendly, you could certainly do that without any problem, but it's always nice when that's built in. Um, on this one, I think you could flatten it out very easily. See, it would be flattened out. And the bangs still don't really flap in the face. If you part it right there along the monofilament, it really does divide around the face very nicely and stay out of the eyes. I kind of like that contour though. And I like how the sides, if you just take, take your fingers and gently rake, they kind of fall into a feathery look on the sides. Very, very pretty. And as you've seen, this is just so light density. It just feels whisper light, like nothing is on. That gives such a nice natural look, doesn't it? because it just reminds me of like a European denier, a light density and a finer texture. Beautiful. Now this particular piece has very, very low permatees. Um, there's none of the puffy, pillowy permatees that you would, you would think of. Um, there's just a slight amount around the monofilament features on the top and at the wefting to, to obscure everything. Make sure the wefts aren't showing. I think this is a beautifully thought out cut and construction. Here's an inside look at the cap for Cafe Chic by Beltrez. There's that creative lace front. It runs temple to temple and then seamlessly back into a left monofilament lace side part that ends just before the crown. Nice fine knotting there. I think this particular one is done very well. Then you've got a brushed velvet ear tab, lots of fiber spliced in there. Just a standard brushed velvet nape and then bra strap type adjusters. You'll notice that I had to cinch in those adjusters a lot just to accommodate a petite average circumference. So I would say this is average right out of the box in terms of size, but um, you'll have to cinch it in quite a bit if you're petite. I don't have any way of measuring for a large circumference. So I told you that this is right out of the box. I haven't used any product on it, uh, no styling whatsoever. Uh, the glasses fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab on this style. As you would expect, uh, most of those Beltrust Cafe Collection styles are lighter density styles and work very well with your glasses. So let's go ahead and I will just uh, work through this hair a little bit to give you an idea of the movement and the texture, maybe a few styling options for Cafe Chic. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.